Now here's a beautiful hairstyle for long hair. If you want to wear your hair all down for your wedding, if you want a really polished, elegant look, this is a beautiful way to go. What we're going to do is we're going to start with brushed hair. A little straighter at the root is fine. If you have natural curls, you'll want to blow dry it straight before doing this look. And we're going to basically curl everything moving in toward her face. So you're going to take the hair, pull it forward, and you want to curl it everything toward the face and then just let it set and cool. So on this under section for this side we have two curls. So you're doing kind of larger sections and then you can proceed to the back the same way. Everything is going to move toward your face. So on one side everything moves toward this side of the face. On the other side everything moves that way toward your face. I have prepped the hair with a light hold heat protectant spray. It's very important because after we set these curls, we're gonna brush them out. So now I'm gonna pull down this top. We're actually gonna make our fringe go this direction. And then you just keep doing that until you've rounded the whole head. And you can see even now in the set, all the curls are hitting at the exact same place. So now I've finished one side, so I'll just move on to the other side. So now I've finished the set, I just wanna mist on a little bit of a light, flexible hairspray. You don't want anything too sticky or too tacky at this point because you're going to continue and brush through it. So once you've let the look cool, you're going to brush through. I would suggest going one side and then the other and starting at the bottom. Just want to very lightly brush through. We want to start creating those waves. Very light-handed with this. But you can already kind of see that very soft S-shape take form. And that's just because all of the curls are connecting to each other. This is one of my favorite looks to do for women that have very, very fine hair because it just gives the hair an all over fuller effect. So now that we have it like this, I'm just going to take my curling iron and I'm going to curl anything that doesn't go under, under. So any little pieces that might be sticking up, you just want to make sure that they're all going in the same direction. And I like to brush while holding it in my hand so that you're you're kind of enforcing the shape that you're trying to get. If you're trying to get your hair to curl under, you want to keep your hand there. So now that we've finished and we've brushed out our style, we just really want to smooth and polish it even further. So I'm going to use a little smoothing cream, a little brilliantine here. It's just going to give the hair a little extra polish. We want this to be really, really shiny and beautiful. So you want to work it through every piece. Next thing you can do is to tame any flyaways. What I love to do as I like to mist on a little hairspray and then take the back of a comb or the back of my tail comb here and just smooth the hair. So you can just keep doing that. Again, it has to be light, light hold hairspray, otherwise you won't get the same effect. Sometimes too, you can take the actual comb part of your comb and just rake it on. Avoid touching it with your hands at this stage because the hairspray, when it's wet, is slightly tacky, so even though it's a flexible hold, you still don't want to get involved in any of that. Sometimes too, I'll spray if I want to create a little bit more of a curl and wrap it around my can to hold it into place. So here we have a finished, polished version of a great way to wear your hair when it's long. This is a great long-haired hairstyle.